Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm here to show you a card idea that I came up with. I came up with this card idea. I use these wonderful patchwork pieces dies. There's two of them, they come in a set and they make this illusion right here of the starburst and also a wave idea. Let me show you how I did this. I'm gonna bring in the stamp and cut and emboss machine because I'm gonna actually cut it out for you showing how it works. And I have the patchwork die right here and I'm gonna run it through and it will cut all these pieces out so we can use them for our card. I love using a big piece of designer series paper because it you're gonna pull these apart and it really shows the design in a cool way. I went ahead and cut this out and if you notice on the center it's all connected. So what you're gonna do, you can go ahead and put it right down like that, but I'm gonna pull these apart and I'm gonna use this um, Tombow adhesive glue to go ahead and adhere these. And the reason why I like the Tombow is because um, you can actually position your pieces and kind of move them around a little bit if you don't get them the way you want. So I'm gonna lay that down and just go around like clockwise and put all these pieces on. This piece of cardstock, the black cardstock, is five and an eighth by three and five eighths. So, and you don't really have to be exact on this. I mean, as far as how close they are or how far apart they are, because it's gonna look good once you get it all done. Now, if you notice, oh my goodness, it's like, it's too big or too small. We have too much left over. Well, that's why I love it. You can trim this after you're done to be able to fit the size that you want for your cardstock or the edge around it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a star burst die. And so it's, it's really forgiving. And once you put your saying on there, it won't really matter one way or the other. As you notice that these are going together, you'll notice there's like a hole in the center of the card. We're gonna cover that up with our saying. So you don't have to worry about that as far as that it's there or not there. And if you make a mistake, you can cover it up with your saying. So that's what I like about doing a hand stamped card with our images. Isn't this a fun way to show off your designer series paper? Especially the design that you really like. You've got that space in between and it really shows it off. Okay, so I went around like that and I put it together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the little thank you so much. This stamp set that I'm using is called Layering Leaves and I like the option of being able to choose so many different sayings out of this stamp set. So depending on which side that you do, I'm gonna move this over to the left of this card so I can cover up that little mistake that I made. So there again, we have that. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this on the one side and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down and that will cover that little spot in the center too. And we'll go ahead and use our ribbon to go around it. I am in love with this gingham ribbon. It's so popular right now, these colors. Black is always one of my favorite colors in stamping and also in clothes. Now I'm only using this one designer series paper, but I'm gonna show you several cards done with two and three different designs. So we've, we've got that layout and it goes on top here. We're gonna also wanna use some little bling on top of that. I'm gonna show you the card. This is the finished card. And you notice that I stamped on the thanks so much right here on a companion product that's amazing. I love using companion products. Stylus Shapes Dies has banners, squares, and it also has circles. So it goes with all these patchwork dies because it's got the little hashes or the little dots. Let me show you some other ideas used with these dies. Using one piece of designer series paper too, that, like we did. See how cool it is with that bigger layout. And then this is just little. Let's go ahead and go to the two. 
Here's two pieces of designer series paper, so I used every other one. So when I pulled them out, I just pulled out every other one. And this is the one, the wave. I like how these fit right up next to each other. You don't want to pull these apart because then they don't fit. They don't have because it's not a diagonal. So here's one vertically and horizontally done. I love how when you use a dark and a lighter designer series paper, it really shows that wave of an image. And you can even do four pieces. This idea is done with four designer series papers. One, two, three, four. And so you'll cut out four different pieces and then you'll just pull them out. So you can actually make four cards with this whole thing. Just move them around, move the pieces around. I hope you enjoyed these ideas that you've seen with the patchwork pieces dies and the companion dies, the stylus shape dies. 15 dies are in this. It's amazing. And if you like these products, <laughs> that's awesome. You remembered. <laughs> if you, <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you like these products, Click the link below. <laughs> if you like these products, click the link below, and we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday. <laughs>